Hello everyone. Uh, today we are in the uh, third lecture of uh, fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines. In the first two lectures, uh, we have uh, seen we, we got some idea about what is actually uh, fluid mechanics, and uh, we have seen uh, here in case of this particular first two lectures the introduction and the scope of fluid mechanics and its uh, development as a science. Uh, these things we have studied and in today's lecture we will be studying about the uh, physical properties of the fluid, uh, some of the physical properties and we will be uh, solving some uh, numerical examples also. Now the basic uh, things which you um, very 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 important in um, most of uh, you can say the subjects in almost all the subjects where you find a kind of some problems their units and dimensions that's going to play the most important role in uh, with respect to uh, fluid mechanics and hydraulic machineries the, so these common uh, units and uh, dimensions uh, you know it um, that uh, the mass is having a unit of kg and length is having a unit of meter time is having a unit of seconds and temperature is uh, in degree centigrade or degree uh, or sorry degree centigrade or Kelvin. So, these are the basic uh, units and dimensions which will come across while doing the problems and not only these there are other units also I, I am talking about the basic units. Now, um, what is uh, uh, why this particular units are used is to uh, describe the measurable characteristics of any object such as mass, length, temperature, time. Now, it actually um, describes uh, it is a unit is actually what it is an uh, accepted uh, universally universally uh, when you are measuring something where you are measuring the dimensions. Now, you all know that uh, the dimensions are expressed in four fundamental dimensions uh, that is m l t that is t mass length time and temperature so the we'll study about the physical property of a fluid now before going to the different uh, uh, physical properties of a fluid because we are in fluid mechanics and we are concentrating on fluid and you know what is a fluid fluid is a substance that can easily flow now, the what is physical uh, property? See, see, there are different uh, types of uh, properties. Uh, you can uh, do it for the. Uh, you can calculate the three different types of property. Uh, sorry, different types of properties. You can study for the um, three different states of matter that is solid, liquid, and gas. But we are totally concentrating, as I told you, on fluid. Fluid is uh, the liquid and gaseous state, and it's a substance which can easily flow. So, the physical property is physical, physical uh, appearance, what is your physical appearance, what is the physical properties of a person, of a human being, what is the physical property of uh, uh, your mobile phone or of your pen, when I ask you, you say the dimensions of it. Similarly, so the different physical uh, properties of a fluid, the first physical properties uh, property of a fluid which we are <coughs> studying is the density which is the other name of this density is also known as the mass density. Now, what is the density or mass density? Mm, as uh, most of us uh, know that the density is or mass density is defined as the ratio of the mass of the fluid to volume of the fluid. So, this is the definition of the mass density or density. Now, again I am saying please mm, some many of the people uh, will be confused uh, so, density uh, is uh, what is the mass density, what is weight density, there is a, a difference between them. So, be very careful. So, density is also termed as mass density. So, density is equal to mass by volume. So, mass by volume as we are totally concentrating on the physical property of a fluid. So, so, we are talking about or we are giving this particular expression of density or mass density as the mass of the fluid divided by volume of the fluid. I hope you are understanding mass of the fluid by volume of the fluid. So, how actually the density is designated? So, the density is designated by a symbol rho and uh, how to and what is the unit of this particular uh, mass density or density in SI units? So, we have seen in the previous slide uh, that is uh, 
mass mass of the uh, mass of the fluid the unit of mass of the fluid is kg and uh, volume volume is meter cube okay so ultimately the um, unit of density will be kg per meter cube so what i am trying to say is and this is the si unit so this is how if you uh, forget uh, this particular uh, units of um, any of uh, the particular uh, uh, parameter easily you can do calculate or the no need the by hitting the units the units if you are forgetting you can easily get it with the formula so the density of the liquid we are considering it as constant while the gases the density of gases it will vary with uh, with the variation of pressure and temperature if the pressure and temperature is varying the density of gases also will vary so this is the uh, definition of density or mass density i hope everybody has understand understood so density or mass density is mass uh, it is the ratio of the mass of the fluid to the volume of the fluid so unit is kg per meter cube now you should remember this what is the density of water so the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube or 1000 kg per meter cube i hope you know how to convert gram per centimeter cube into kg per meter cube i hope you all of you know it okay so uh, what is the value of density what is the density of water sometimes maybe while solving the problems uh, you may need the value of density of water then uh, you should remember the density of uh, water's value is 1000 kg per meter cube or 1 gram per centimeter cube okay so this is basic you know uh, in your schooling level you know how to convert gram per centimeter cube into kg per meter cube okay so this is all about density or mass density so second property of physical property of fluid uh, that we are going to study is specific weight or weight density you see the previous one was mass density or density now the second property is specific weight or weight density the other name of weight density is specific weight see the previous one was mass density where rho is equal to mass of the fluid by volume of the fluid so here what is weight density so weight density is designated by w now the weight density is as we have studied the mass density is what mass of the fluid by volume of the fluid so what is weight density weight of the fluid by volume of the fluid okay so all of you know that weight is equal to m into g so m mass into acceleration due to gravity all of you know this so this particular uh, excel g is acceleration due to gravity similarly so weight of the fluid i am converting into mass of the fluid into acceleration due to gravity divided by same the volume of the fluid now here mass of the fluid acceleration due to gravity i have taken it as v so what is mass of the fluid by volume of the fluid in the previous slide we have seen that is rho that is mass density so similarly what is weight density weight density is sorry weight density is equal to mass density into acceleration due to gravity i hope it is clear so in the previous slide as we have seen density is equal to mass by volume the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube or 1000 kg per meter cube but here weight density is rho into g rho is nothing but mass density so mass density whatever is if multiplied by acceleration due to gravity uh, that if is it 9.8 or 9.81 or 10 whatever uh, you are going to take it any of these three values if you multiply that with the mass density you will get the weight density of a fluid you are talking of a fluid so as you know the <coughs> in the previous slide you have seen the density of water density of water was what the what was the density of water density of water was 1000 kg per meter cube now you say what is the specific weight or weight density of water simply the 1000 you multiplied by 9.81 so this is here newton per meter cube now listen there it is kg per meter cube 
the unit of mass density the unit of weight density is newton per meter cube it is newton per meter cube okay i hope you have understood clear so the uh, so weight density or specific weight of water is 9.81 into 1000 newton per meter cube clear so this is what the second property that is specific weight or weight density clear now the third one is uh, the specific volume clear so specific volume is actually the defined as the reciprocal it is a reciprocal of mass density now you know what is the mass density mass density is uh, we have studied uh, the mass density the other name is density which is designated as rho rho is equal to mass mass of the fluid by volume of the fluid so the reciprocal of that is actually called as the specific volume so specific volume is nothing but 1 by rho okay so 1 by rho 1 by rho means it is nothing but volume of the volume of the fluid by mass of the fluid clear so this is the formula for specific volume clear so volume of the fluid by mass of the fluid so what is the unit of uh, uh, density or mass density it was kg per meter cube okay so kg per meter cube reciprocal will be meter cube per kg so the unit of specific volume it's very easy and you can express it uh, or you can find it out you can express the uh, units of specific volume as meter cube per kg so this particular uh, specific volume it is uh, generally or commonly applied to um, which kind of uh, fluid that is uh, it is generally used in gaseous state okay so specific volume is the reciprocal of mass density and next one is the specific gravity number 4 so what is specific gravity so specific gravity is uh, uh, we what actually we are uh, trying to do is uh, we are here trying to take the help of standard fluid or standard uh, gas so let us first uh, know what is standard fluid so we uh, take the uh, density of uh, standard fluid into consideration and that standard fluid we are taking it as uh, for liquid we are taking the standard fluid as water and for gas the standard air is sorry the standard gas is uh, air okay so to find out the specific gravity specific gravity how it is defined it is defined as the ratio of the weight density of a fluid to weight density of a standard fluid i hope you have understood i am talking about so what is specific gravity specific gravity is defined as the ratio of weight density or density of a fluid to the weight density or density of a standard fluid so you may ask sir whether it is weight density or density density means mass density okay the other name for density is mass density okay sir whether it is weight density or mass density you can take any of that so specific gravity you can see here the specific gravity is uh, the uh, ratio of in this way you can remember it is the ratio of the weight density of liquid by weight density of water so for gases what it will be same weight density or density of gas weight dens by weight density or density of air you can take weight density or density anything thus depending upon uh, what is given to you now what is the weight density of the liquid weight density of liquid will be this specific gravity into weight density of water cross multiplication what is weight density of gas specific gravity of gas into weight density of air so let us you see here weight density of liquid is s uh, s into weight density of water what is the weight density of water just we have seen weight density of water is 1000 into 9.81 newton per meter cube as you have seen in the slides previous slides okay so weight density of water so what is the density of the liquid so it will be uh, i'm we here we have taken weight density now we'll find the density 
okay as i told you you can take weight density or density so density of liquid will be s into density of water so density of water you know 1000 kg per meter cube okay so why why we are doing so you uh, there are possibilities uh, you may get some shorter questions now uh, if they if you know the specific gravity of a fluid okay then uh, the density of uh, if the if you know the specific gravity of a fluid then the density of, of that fluid or the weight density of that fluid can be easily found out now let me take a small example if the specific gravity of mercury is given to you how much 13.6 so the specific gravity is denoted by capital s okay and s is 13.6 so how to find if specific gravity is given how to find the density of mercury if you want to find density of mercury that value of 13.6 that is s you multiply by the density of water if you want to find out the weight density of mercury weight density of mercury then 13.6 into 1000 into 9.81 you multiply whatever you get that is the weight density is in the units of newton per meter cube so as here you can see we are finding the density of mercury you are multiplying by density of water i hope you are understanding so what is the density of mercury it is 13600 kg per meter cube so for today's lecture these are the four uh, things uh, which you have uh, studied uh, that is uh, the four physical properties uh, that is um, density or mass density which is designated as rho and this is specific weight or weight density and uh, next is specific volume which is the reciprocal of uh, the mass density and uh, one more important parameter is specific gravity where if specific gravity of a particular fluid is known to you then the density of that fluid can easily be calculated because you know the density of water or you know the weight density of water okay so so these are the four important parameters now let us see uh, a numerical so here what is the numerical calculate the specific weight density specific gravity of one liter of liquid which weighs seven newton so this is the question that is given to you so the given data the given data is here the uh, weight okay and the volume of the liquid is also given to you here so the volume of the liquid is uh, uh, one liter and um, what is the weight of that particular uh, <coughs> liquid it is seven newton so this is the question using the same concept which you have studied you know the formulas and you know the concept of that so let us see uh, here here actually you can see here the volume is given volume is given how much one liter if the volume is one liter you try to change into meter cube okay or centimeter cube clear because you you know that this particular volume which you are talking about in liters how to convert into meter cube so what i am trying to say is liter, uh, liter converted to meter cube that means you take a one liter the water bottle how much area or how much volume it has occupied okay so that you can see then weight you already know seven newtons how to calculate specific weight all of you know specific weight is nothing but the weight uh, uh, weight of the liquid by volume of the liquid weight of the liquid is given to you volume of the liquid is uh, converted into meter cube okay then after that if you know the specific weight uh, i'm say i'll show you the solution if you know the specific weight easily you can calculate the density so density is uh, mm, you know that uh, density is what density is equal to what W by G. Okay, so that is nothing but you know specific weight is equal to rho G or not? Then this W is nothing but specific weight. This W is specific weight. Okay, once you calculate specific weight, easily you can calculate the density. Okay, and after that, easily you can find the specific gravity. Specific gravity already you know. Once the density of the liquid is known to you from the second case easily density of water is known what is specific gravity 
density of liquid by density of water. So, let us see how to solve this. Now, here you can see the volume uh, is 1 liter as given to you in the question that you convert it into meter cube. It is 1 by 1000 meter cube. I am talking about volume. Everybody knows this 1 liter is 1 by 1000 meter cube or 1000 centimeter cube. That is the volume it has occupied, the liquid. And the weight of the liquid is 7 newtons. So, what is specific weight? You already know. We have seen that specific weight is weight by volume. Weight is 7 newton given to you by 1 by 1000. So, it is an easy calculation. So, unit of specific weight, you know it is Newton per meter cube. So, 7000 Newton per meter cube. Okay. So, next is once you got the value, uh, you know the specific weight of the liquid, easily you can calculate the density. As I told you, density is uh, uh, what? Uh, the sorry, specific weight is what? You have already studied specific weight. Specific weight is equal to rho into g. It is mass density into acceleration due to gravity. So, what is rho here? S rho will be equal rho. Rho will be equal to uh, sorry specific weight by g. Okay. So, specific weight already you got it 7000 by g I will take it as 9.81. So, simply calculate it you will get this k this much kg per meter cube is the density. Density or mass density. Okay. So, uh, this is what. Next is uh, as you know what is the other name of specific weight as i told you the other name of specific weight is what the other name of specific weight is weight density clear you know it next is mm, we will calculate in that particular problem we are calculating what <coughs> we are calculating sorry Now, next is we are calculating specific gravity. So, once you know what is specific weight, what is density, mm, then uh, that is uh, density or mass density. So, easily now you can calculate specific gravity. All are you see interrelated. So, specific gravity is the density of liquid. Density of liquid already you got it in the second case you have calculated by density of water which you already know it is 1000, 1000 kg per meter cube and uh, this uh, density is kg per meter cube so the, this particular specific gravity is unitless okay so you got 0 0.7135 so if uh, the weight of the liquid is 7 newton and the volume is 1 liter okay or uh, 1 by 1000 meter cube or 1000 centimeter cube if the volume is given to you the specific weight your it's coming around 7000 newton meter cube density is 713 713.5 kg per meter cube and the specific gravity is 0 0.7135 so this is how the problems are solved in this particular uh, physical property of uh, fluids so one more problem that is similar kind of problem calculate the density specific weight and weight of 1 liter of petrol of specific gravity 0 0.7 this is here also the specific gravity is given to you now okay so same kind of problem very easy problem specific gravity is given 0 0.7 and volume is 1 liter so specific gravity you know it is nothing but capital S that is 0 0.7 and volume is how much 1 liter so 1 liter as you know it is 1000 centimeter cube or 0 0.001 meter cube that is what 1 by 1000 is uh, as you have seen in the previous problem so first calculate what is density okay you know density is uh, there is a formula for density as you have seen in when we are studying this particular uh, specific gravity okay let me uh, show you if you want now in case of a specific gravity what is happening you can see in case of specific gravity here density is specific gravity into density of water this is what I am talking about this formula okay so you can see here 
एस इंटू थाउजेंड के जी पर मीटर क्यूब थाउजेंड के जी पर मीटर क्यूब इज डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर सो जीरो पॉइंट सेवन इज गिवेन पर पेट्रोल स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी सो वट इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ पेट्रोल सो यू यूल गेट सेवन हंड्रेड के जी पर मीटर क्यूब ओके वंस डेंसिटी इज नोन टू यू यू कैन ईजीली कैलकुलेट वॉट इज स्पेसिफिक वेट वट इज रो डब्ल्यू स्पेसिफिक वेट इट इज रो इन टू जी ओके सो रो यू गॉट ऑलरेडी इन द प्रीवियस सेवन हंड्रेड जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट वन विल टेक एंड सिंपल सिंपल फार्मूला दैट इज सिक्स एट सिक्स सेवन न्यूटन पर मीटर क्यूब ओके सो वी कैलकुलेटेड वॉट इज स्पेसिफिक वेट ऑल्सो देन वेट ओके सो वॉट इज स्पेसिफिक वेट स्पेसिफिक वेट इज वॉट वेट ऑफ द फ्लूड फ्लूड हियर इज पेट्रोल वेट ऑफ द पेट्रोल बाय वॉल्यूम ऑफ द पेट्रोल already the specific weight is you have calculated in the second bit you can see 6867 newton per meter cube okay so this weight how to calculate specific weight multiplied by volume specific weight how much you got 6867 newton per meter cube is the specific weight and multiplied by volume okay volume is how much 0.001 meter cube okay so we are taking meter cube so because this is in si unit and this is in si unit so the weight of the petrol which is having a volume of 1 uh, liter and specific weight of 6867 newton per meter cube is this is the weight of the petrol 6.867 newton okay so these are the two numericals based on uh, the today's uh, topics we have studied the physical properties of fluid i hope you have understood it okay thank you thank you very much